With a show title like Uncharted and decades in the business under his belt, it's no secret that chef Gordon Ramsay is entering some unfamiliar territory in the latest season of the series. Season 3 premiered in May on National Geographic, and it follows the infamous culinary expert from the coast of Maine to the Arctic Circle of Finland, with quite a few wild pit stops along the way. After so long in the business, you would be hard-pressed to find something chef Gordon Ramsay hasn't tried. Uncharted executive producer John Kroll explained that after a few worm-related incidents, Ramsay required him to taste test any worm before he did. So while eating worms was nothing new to the chef this time around in Mexico, he refused to be the only one to take the risk. According to Kroll, he tried a butterworm, which tasted like hot buttered popcorn to him. He told Ramsay to give the delicacy a try. Ramsay's palate went to a different flavoring, claiming that the worm tasted like sawdust. Kroll told TV Insider that the chef likely got a bad worm, but lost in all this is that Ramsay basically admitted he knows what sawdust tastes like, which might be a step down from worms. According to Bugs for Growers, butterworms, they do have a scientific name, but we're not going to even try and say it. Basically, it means to lay in moth, if you're super curious. Anyway, they are typically fed to bearded dragons, lizards, and turtles. Sounds delicious. If you asked Ramsay about the strangest thing he tried on Uncharted, he might answer differently. The weirdest was actually weird. Top of mind has to be tar in Finland. I don't think that will be making an appearance on any American menu anytime soon. However, the weirdest food of this season may not top the list of the weirdest things Ramsay has ever eaten. Ramsay told James Corden in a 2015 episode of The Late Late Show that on MasterChef, he tried a plate of macaroni and cheese with a twist. Ramsay asked, naturally, what the twist was. Breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> Ramsay prefers breast milk in cappuccinos, obviously. Another contender is when in January 2021, he recounted to Big World Tale how he ate a cobra's beating heart. This thing made me feel sick. I can still feel it bouncing around it in my tummy. Two minutes later, I passed it out. But anyway, back to the tar. For anyone not up to speed with all things culinary in Finland, tar is a common additive that has a smoky flavor that is reminiscent of another Finnish love, chewing tobacco. Gastro Obscura suggests that the attraction to the flavor came from centuries of using it as medicine in accordance with the proverb, if a sauna, vodka, and tar don't help, the illness is fatal. Today, it appears in shampoo, ice cream, and candy, one of the most popular being in a licorice. The Finnish people love licorice. Just ask a Finn. And in case you're wondering, no, this doesn't mean that Gordon Ramsay eats roads. The tar Finns eat, and the tars used to make asphalt differ drastically. Asphalt is primarily found as a thick liquid within various mineral and oil-based environments, while tar can be derived from coal, minerals, or wood. In the case of Finland, it comes from wood, which accounts for the smoky taste, and is often used to preserve wooden surfaces like boats. Tar made from tree sap can be eaten safely, which is also why it was developed as a go-to medicine for the Finns. So, on the Gordon Ramsay scale of favorite weird foods, it probably goes breast milk, tar, butterworms, and then sawdust. Probably. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mashed videos about weird foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.